What's up guys, Yo Tech Matt here, 3 Series Garage, depends on how you follow us as to how you see us, but just wanted to do a little comparison I guess, or tour, walkthrough of the Maddox versus the Icon brake caliper service set. One nice thing is the uh, features of the cases. This is more conveniently sized, being the Maddox brand, it is slightly smaller and there's like 12 piece set. This is, however, like a 20 piece set. Really nice uh, engraving there, both sides. Does have these wonderful little features here. You can uh, twist these or push them in with pliers and actually pull that out. That way you can lay it flat in your toolbox. Easy access. I personally, uh, you know, if it's in a case, it stays in a case. But that's me. But here we go with a, a first look, I guess. They're both mine. Um, they're both used. This is more uh, untaken care of, as you see it. It likes to grow rust on the pieces that are used. But whatever. It happens. We use our tools rather than sit around and look at them. Because they make us money, and if we don't use them, we don't make no money. Therefore, we don't buy no more tools. But, here nor there. That you set looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's a ninth one down there. Your press and your plate. So it's like 11, I guess, 12-piece set, whatever you want to call it, because it does have your standard adapter here. Which it looks like it's magnetized on, but I guess that's a magnet for... Your other adapters. But this does work for some common calipers. No adjustments needed, just throw it on and go. But if you need adjustments, there you go. It does have these other adapter plates. The case is really loose. As you see, I can grab a hold of them little pins and just kind of pull stuff right out. Not bad, it is really nice grab and go because you're not sitting here fighting with the case. A lot of you know that follow. Um, whether it's snap on or anything really, these cases do have a tendency to be rough sometimes. Like if we were to take a gander here at the icon set, see if we can get this on the whole screen for you all. Yeah, we'll go with like a half. Zoom, how's that? Because we were zoomed all the way out. So, there you see it. These little tabs flip up. You got a chart there. Tells you what everything is, what it's for. Looks like you got 2 and 3, 9, 0, and K, whatever they are. Just your different pieces there, adapters, if you would. But when you get down to the basics, as I was saying about the snap latch or whatever you want to call this, they are handy if you're using this in like a road box or a work truck where everything kind of will be bouncing around. But it's a large, fairly large snap on toolbox that weighs three quarters of a ton pack the tools so it's not going bouncing down the road or across the garage because we don't do that we got a roll card over yonder for that but when it comes to this little snatch lap uh yeah snap latch stuff whatever you want to call it little pop rivet detents whatnot i don't know it is nice it is convenient for keeping things where they belong but when you're trying to quick grab and go as you see Sometimes they can just kind of launch out of there because they're in there fairly stiff. I'm not going to lie. Especially these here wind back tools. If they're not lined up exactly the way they need to be, I have a tendency of beating on them a couple times because it's not quite lined up up there. But once it's lined up, they snap in nice and solid. Everything's really firm. These ones up here actually sometimes... Uh, Maybe that's what them little indents are for there, but yeah, sometimes I'll have to use a screwdriver or my little panel pop tool, prime out, whatever. 
you see they're stiff. It's making a fool out of me, but yeah, you get the idea. Really basic set. It does come with the left and right handed threaded wind back tools. Whereas your Maddox brand, it only came with one wind back tool. Whoops. It is a bit of a flaw that they only have one backing plate here, but they're the same exact size. Wow. Imagine that. That snaps right in there. It's almost like uh, they want you to buy a second set just so you can get that other one. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you can't beat it. It's $50 at the store or something like that with the Inside Track Club membership discount. Um, So we're rated like $80 with the member discount for both these sets. Really can't compete with that. I mean, yeah, you might be able to get an $8 set off the tool truck with a lifetime warranty, but... Icon from Harbor Freight has a lifetime warranty. So does Pittsburgh through Harbor Freight. The other day, give me one second here. All right, we're back. The other day I went to Harbor Freight and I was going to return my serpentine belt tool as it broke a little bit. Didn't quite break, but There's a set in the drive flat. There's holding the handle flat. You see that drive's a bit twisted there. Almost snapped off the weld. And it rounded the edges off. They said it's a lifetime warranty and they can guarantee me a new one. Free of charge. As long as I have the receipt. That's it. As long as you have the receipt. Me being a small business owner. <laughs> I have all my receipts for everything bought, sold obtained whatever fixed bill yeah it's all accounted for so came home and found that receipt needless to say we're taking it back today i'd ask them if i had to bring the uh i don't use these ever because i have multiple sockets but a 15 16 and 18 millimeter socket and a 13 14 and 15 open end crow's foot wrench he said i don't got to bring the accessories back just bring him what broke, which is this here serpentine belt tool handle. Just this piece. So I got an extra extension here, which I can use my normal ratchet for if I need. I got a spare 15, 16, and 18 socket and a spare 13, 14, and 15 open end crow's foot along with the other spares that I've gotten through warranties and returns from Harbor Freight, which these are your normal crow's feet. I guess these are what they refer to as open end. I'd rather have snap on with the, uh, I think it's a three way drive side. Obviously you can use bi-directional sides there and it doesn't make a difference, but snap on has the drive in the end to put a ratchet or an extension handle, I mean, which is really nice, but back to the basics. Just wanted to give that a little bit of attention there. You can't go wrong, especially if you're a DIYer. You're going to use this a couple times, which I did, but I do have another set that's snap on, so it's a bit more uh, sturdy and it's lifetime warranty as well. But I'm going to take this back, give my 17 or 19.99 back, and put it towards something else. Jank to buy from Harbor Freight now that I can. He confirmed that I can keep this and my sockets and open and uh, wrench pieces. So that's a plus. Just going to return this. Maybe I'll get another one to do another review or demonstration on. But as far as this one compared to name brand, you see it. It didn't It didn't do so well. This was a, on a 2016 Jeep Wrangler, the 75th anniversary. It didn't work. That... That was crippled. I did actually end up taking this and Bertha and my half inch to three eighths reducer and threw it in there and was able to get it free. But all this extra wiggle jiggle playroom and that little tiny weld there to hold this on, it didn't do it. That was a loss from Harbor Freight. Back to things that matter though. 
Yeah. So anyhow, back to the things at hand here. Matters at hand. Whatever you want to say. Go check them out. Icon from Harbor Freight. Maddox from Harbor Freight. Watch what you buy. Honestly, I'm going to say that. Back to the uh, Pittsburgh again. Pittsburgh is lifetime warranty. It's stamped right on 9 out of 10, if not every single one of their products. Icon. 9 out of 10 products. Stamped on it. Lifetime guarantee. Lifetime warranty. Whatever. As long as you save your receipts. I mean, most people... I tell them if you're going to do something like this, go as far as getting your receipt and just sliding it back here. Whatever. It's there if you ever need it, and it's not going to mistakenly be thrown away. A small business tech owner like me, I have a writing drawer down below that everything is everything is done through the shop, for the shop, by the shop, whatever. It's kept here in the shop, so that way at the end of the year I can take it all in and do taxes. That's besides the point as well, but... If you're not an Inside Track Club member, keep your receipts. But if you're an Inside Track Club member, they can simply search your uh, cell phone number up or whatever number you had used, and they can bring this purchase up and bam. Maddox from Harbor Freight, however, they do not, they do not offer a lifetime guarantee, warranty, whatever you want to say. So with that being said, the only type of warranty or returns you can do for this is with receipt only and or I guess you could have it without receipt return it without receipt if you're an inside track club member because they can search it up on your purchase history but if not uh, over 90 days you need a receipt under 90 days you need a receipt unless you're an ITC member so it's a good spare to have but we'll just get rid of that keep it on the side this set here, however, like I said, solid case. It's uh, it's in competition with Snap-on. I'm really digging this. I have not took it apart yet to put it in my drawer. I think I'm just going to keep it in the case. Like I said, if it comes in the case, it stays in the case. Keeps the dirt off of it, which keeps the rust off of it, which uh, makes me happy because it's less, less cleaning I have to do. I guess if it's a cheap tool, I don't mind cleaning it, but I don't want to be cleaning my Snap-on and other things. So, if you haven't, go check them out. Harbor Freight's always got good stuff for DIYers. And I'm not going to lie, us everyday techs, we do use a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight because you can use it and abuse it. And if it breaks or it fails or it's junk in a couple days or a week, we just take it back and get another one and just repeat the process over and over and over again. Same thing with Icon. They're, uh, like I said, they're, they're competing with Snap-on. Everything they do, it's uh, comparing it to Snap-on or Mac Tools or something like that. Or various other name brands. Yes, they do kind of all almost come from the same place. But, again, you're looking at the name. Everybody stands behind your name. So, you, you get what you pay for. Think cheap, you get cheap. Spend money, you can make money. Just like that. One piston at a time, or do you want to wind back both of them and make yourself a flat rate mechanic so you're not charging people by the hour? 30, 45 minutes a side per side times two times four. No, you just get the icon set, or maybe you have two, and you do them all at the same time. What do you do? Who knows? Go check them out. Thanks for watching. If you're still here, guys, like and subscribe. That's us. We're always doing random things. I just figured I'd uh, do a little shout out here at Arbor Freight. This was a nice solid set and I needed it because I like doing two things at once, not one. Because time is money when you're working flat rate. Today, we just did this because we're having a little bit of a heyday. Motor deck's coming off. We got a bench shaft in the rear like lopes really bad and drove down over the one of the culverts at the stormwater pond and that was it bennett motor deck you can can't really tell but it's closer to the back tire than it is the front and the other side vice versa that it's bent to shit as well come on over here and check out the uh harbor freight roll cart service cart whatever you want to call it 
Really solid cart. I'm not going to complain about it at all. Snap on hammers. Dead blow, ball peen, whatever. They sit right there where you see. Perfectly fine. You take your 14 volt uh, tools. Turn them sideways and throw them up in here. If you haven't, go check it out. I have it posted somewhere, but you can take them and just kind of sit them. Just like that. Really nice grab-and-go access. Love the, uh, it's just like a three-inch container wall here. Perfect. Not too high, not too shallow. I was able to mount a hard freight can holder here on the end. That gives us a little bit more room. Everybody has that. If you don't, go get yourself some. Weaver brand especially. This stuff's got power in the cans and it's good to every last drop. If I ever have a problem with my cans, I just take it back and they'll give me a new one. If I have a problem with more than six cans in the same case, they'll give me a whole case for free. But junk screwdrivers for pulling in equipment, old vehicles, whatever, if you need to... Uh, Those who know, looking at them little marks there, if you know, you know. Keep it real, keep it old school, and kiss. You know, just keep it simple, stupid. They're old junky screwdrivers. That's why they're up hand. This one's been sharpened. It looks like it's a freaking chisel. As you see, the Harbor Freight guys have had them for like a year now. These here... 22 inch. They're nice. Have them there for easy grab and go access. Once again, if I need to I'll bend them a little, I can. But, project for today. Here's our, uh, there's our bent mower blade. Yeah, it's like that. It should be more cocked like this. Or mower deck. But, that's besides the point. Wanted to give Harbor Freight a small shout out slash review thing i guess and amongst that we're doing a little cleaning with some alien space savers etc so like subscribe stay tuned for more if you're still here and watching god bless you and enjoy your weekend or week peace out